Hey, how you doing? Publish your journey video of the day. Today was a good day. Um, yesterday, I finished a new book about a martial arts topic. Um, again, I'm a publisher for How Expert, which pub publishes how to guides on all topics from A to Z. So, there's so many books as a publisher of all topics from A to Z that I want to publish. You know, I'm actually working on multiple books at the same time right now. But, um,. It's like one day I want to publish this book. So I'm kind of, I have a idea about, I have a table of contents. I have the description already. But then I think about it. I'm like, you know what? I'd rather publish this other book. So today, you know, I was thinking about publishing a book about stand-up comedy, which I will. But today, while I work remotely, I just... During my internet marketing journey, I, I published a lot of different books by myself behind the scenes. And one of the books was a unique topic, I, I would say. One of the topics was a very unique topic. And I would say it's in high demand as well. And I want to have an opportunity to publish this book again. Now using AI, I can do even better. And, and it's actually one of my hobbies. I'll, I'll share what it is. Freestyle rapping. How to freestyle rap. So... Um, you know, back in the days, I had an ebook about that, a YouTube channel that got a lot of views actually behind the scenes. It still does, but you know, now with uh, now with my publishing brand, I'm thinking about. <laughs> I came up with a title, the subtitle to table of contents today, and I'm telling you, man, psh, it's unbelievable. It's 20 chapters about freestyle rapping, and it's not like the first. I don't ask AI for a table of contents and just take the first one. I ask it over and over again for multiple versions, and then I ask AI to compare and contrast which TOC is better until I get the one that's the best one possible. And believe it or not, I actually did a book about this just recently using AI behind the scenes about freestyle rap. But just something in my gut, I didn't feel like it was the best one because the more you do books, the better you get, even with AI. And I did this book about a couple months ago, and it came out to 70,000 words. But I asked AI, compare the, the previous t table of contents to the newest one, and AI actually said this one, the newer one is better. And I asked, combine the best of both worlds to create even, even better enhanced table of contents. And I got the best one possible, I'm telling you. So I'm, I'm just excited. I got the title, subtitle, book description. That's all I need. And after that, I just create the content. One section at a time, one chapter at a time from start to finish. So. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I may be able to create the content in terms of one to two days, most likely. Uh, my aim is to, you know, ideally if I could, I'm not at that play, uh, phase yet, uh, level yet, but I want to get to a p point where I could potentially publish one book a day. You know, I know it sounds crazy, but let's round. He says, reach for the stars and hit the moon. And it is possible. I know I, I can potentially do that if I... You know, find the right team members and I can delegate them in the right position so I don't have to do everything and anything. Right now, you know, back in the days, I used to delegate a lot, almost everything. But I also saw that there's other successful authors out there. They don't delegate everything. There's certain things they don't delegate. So I kind of like modeled. I was like, you know what? That successful author's not doing it. Delegating this part. Maybe I don't want to do it, you know. And sometimes people say to delegate everything is important. But it's, sometimes there's a balance to it too. Because certain things you can delegate and certain things you may not want to. Because you got to trust the person you work with, right? So, and on, on top of that, I'm using AI now. So I don't have to delegate the writing or the formatting per se. Because the writing, I could finish in one day, the content, to be honest. And the formatting, yes, it does take time. So I'm not consider finding someone who can help me with the formatting. Um, but I mean, if the writing can take one day and formatting can take one day too, I don't know. You know, formatting does take a lot of time. So I'm actually looking for, I might potentially look for somebody who can help me with the formatting. But again, I'm. I heard an author say they didn't want to uh, give access to their files 
this person was a very successful author, seven figure level. So I was thinking like, you know what? If this author doesn't want to give access to their book files, then why am I doing it? You know, just to, I'm not going to delegate just to delegate. I've, I've been in the road of delegating at anything and everything to the point where I, at one point I wasn't even doing anything. Like I had even my virtual assistant back in the days hire for me. Then I got to the next level. I said, I'm going to hire and I, I'm going to do this. And now with AI, I feel like there's less delegation needed sometimes because it saves me a lot of time from writing. The writing takes a lot of time and money and energy. The formatting does as well. But with AI, it speeds up everything. In terms of the writing, I could finish the content of the book in one day. You know, if I'm really focused, the formatting, I could probably finish in one to two days. Formatting takes a while. But part of me doesn't want to delegate the formatting because you know I kind of want the access to my own books myself just like modeling the successful author that I know of who's a seven figure author so you know I'm at a place like I'm I'm open to delegating certain things but I don't want to just delegate just to delegate if I'm going to delegate um, delegate I'd rather delegate the formatting I don't want to delegate the content creation. I would rather focus on creating the content myself. You know, even the writing with using the help of AI because I could finish in one day. I believe that I could come up with a title and subtitle, book, book description and table contents that I'm happy with. And after that, I can do the content in one to two days. So it's not like hiring a writer like back in the days, I had to wait months to get the book done, you know, and sent back to me, you know, so... Well, the AI speeds up a lot of things. It saves me a lot of time. So, you know, I could be more hands-on, you know, and it could be all, it could be still good. Um, but in terms of formatting, I might consider finding someone help to help me with the formatting per se. We will see, because it does take a little bit of time to format. Um, but I'm cool with doing it myself right now. But anyhow, I'm excited about my next book uh, that I'm working on, you know, the current book I'm working on is How Expert Guide to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. For those of you interested in Jiu-Jitsu, uh, if, if you don't know Mixed Martial Arts and Ultimate Fighting Championship 1, you know, martial arts was something I was really into since I was a kid, especially in high school. And that during that time was Ultimate Fighting Championship 1 came out. And I remember seeing the first UFC. And uh, this guy named Hoist Gracie won. He was a skinny, lanky guy doing jiu-jitsu back in the days they didn't know anything about mixed martial arts a boxer came out karate guy came out a sumo wrestler came out kickboxing guy came out you know who won the skinny lanky guy he didn't barely do any strikes but he won because of grappling and that's when you know the uh, gracie family introduced uh the art of brazilian jiu-jitsu it was initially adopted from the japanese jiu-jitsu but they made their own version more ground fighting, I would say. And Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, now mixed martial artists, they all learn as, as an essential part of martial arts, regardless of what their main martial art may be. So I did a book about Jiu-Jitsu back in the days, but now I wanna do one about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I already finished the content, I gotta do the formatting, but because it's a martial arts topic, I have to get some images. I'm gonna get some images. It's gonna take a little bit more time because I gotta, I wanna make this the best quality book as possible. The content is already finished. It's like two, 20 plus pages. It's almost like 60,000 words. But this topic, I think it needs, you need to look at images to learn the topic, right? So for the type of grappling, the choke holds, the arm bars. So I'm a member of Deposit Photos and Shutterstock. And I have access to a lot of images uh, that I can use. So. I'm gonna look for the best images possible and put it, place them in the right section so people can have the best, uh, people can learn better by looking at the visual images as best as possible. I wanna make this a five-star quality book. You know, especially for a topic like this, you need images to kind of have a better understanding. It may not be step-by-step -step images, but just a demonstration of what an arm bar looks like, what a chokehold, rear naked chokehold looks like. Uh, Kimura, all these techniques, 
and they're all available on deposit photos and, and, and Shutterstock. So I'm gonna go out there and find it, the best one possible, and uh, go from there, you know? So it, I like to work on books that doesn't require images usually, but you know, because it speeds, it's, I can do it a lot faster. But if it requires images, from now on, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some time to find the best image as possible. I even, I was even asking ChatGPT how many images should I put, you know, to make this book the best quality as possible, and what sections? It'll tell you if you put your TOC. Um, it says something like 50 to 100 images or whatnot. So, you know, just to make it a five star book, I'm I'm, I'm considering it for sure. I don't, I don't want to just skip out on this. Once I do a book on one topic, because I'm using AI now, there's no, there's no excuses. You know, I want to make the best book as possible. I don't want to revisit, revisit and redo another book on this unless it's a hot seller. It's proven. But if I'm going to do one book on it, and I'm doing all core categories, all topics A to Z, I might as well make it the best version as possible, right? And then if it sells, I'll do another book. So I'm gonna be done with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, very soon, hopefully. I need I need to find the right images, so it will take me a little bit of a time. But after that, I'm gonna do work on a How Expert Guide to Freestyle Rap. And that doesn't really require images because you don't really need images to learn how to rap or how to freestyle rap, right? So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, creating content. I might actually create content for the freestyle rap book today. But uh, again, I'm doing multiple books at the same time. After that, I want to do a book on my books that I did back in the days. But you know, when I first got started, they weren't the best books. I admit. So I want to do justice, redemption for those books, for the readers who got my books that I was getting started with. I want to do higher quality books. Give me one more chance. If you got my books back in the days, okay? By How Expert, please. My latest books from 2024 and beyond, I'm telling you, these books are higher quality, more comprehensive, more organized, grammatically correct, structured, step-by-step -step sequence, and covers all aspects of that topic, I'm telling you. So, all the books that got one stars in the past or whatnot, or low ratings, I want to do justice for those book topics and books. I want to do a book for, for, for my previous readers who may have been disappointed. I apologize. I apologize. And, but please do understand, that was my beginning years, 10 plus years ago as an independent publisher. Your first books are your worst books. That's how it is. But no excuses now with AI. I got to create better quality books. And that's it. I'm a publisher for all topics A to Z. I want to do all topics A to Z, guys. So I'm excited, man. I wish I could do more books. That's why I probably need to delegate formatting or some other portion of my business right now. But in terms of the actual content, coming up with a title, subtitle, table of contents, book description. I want to do that first by myself because uh, I've done a lot of books. So I kind of have, I believe I have the eye more than, you know, the virtual assistants I hire who are maybe new to this in terms of the content. So, and in terms of the content creation, I could actually crank out a book in one day with using AI. So I might, I might just do the content portion. And I actually like doing that. But other stuff, I think I'll have to look into a delegating, okay? Once I find the right team member, not just anyone, okay? It was somebody maybe I'm working with now, but he's doing some other part of the business, but we will see. So that's it, Publisher Journey video of the day. Thanks for watching the video. Click the link below the video to learn more. Take action, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.